guys. Do don't mind my hair. It is a mess this morning. I got at work or got a bed uh, really late to try to get the kids to school. Now, um, I showed you guys a uh, picture of this girl before the bath and everything like that. Um, and as you can see, we have the classic owner's cutting so far up above the eyes that it's ridiculous and we all hate it. Um, what I am showing you is how do we fix that? Because sometimes the owners just do a really, really bad job. Now, the best thing to do is to teach your owners, the clients, to cut it if they're going to have to cut it for whatever reason to pull it all forward and cut it okay so quickly if because they cut so far back every time I ask the famous question is why did you cut so far up on the head oh it's in her eyes that she can't see okay one thing I'm going to teach you guys is teach them how to cut it because they're going to cut it no matter what okay they're they're going to they're just those clients now, she is one of my clients I've been doing for the last four years, will not listen to me. She's the only one that doesn't listen to me. So, um, she's a prime example. I can actually have show you a dog of what the clients do, as in like they cut so far back on, on top of this head, and it's ridiculous. Um, so first I'm gonna tell you, teach your client how to do it. I know it sounds crazy. You're gonna teach your client how to cut the hair, it's only the eyes. We're not talking about teaching them how to groom the entire dog. Okay? So, first of all, here's how you just tell them that if they have a problem with it growing in their hair, tell them to comb it all forward. Okay? Get it in their eyes. I'm going to have to stand up to do this. And just tell them to literally cut straight across. Okay? It's going to look like a big top knot um, looking like that. But that's easier to work with than what they've done here, okay? So that's the one thing. If they're going to cut that hair, and they will, um, if you have all, you all have those clients. Teach them to comb it all forward and just cut it straight, straight off. Just cut it straight. Don't cut back, don't cut any more than just straight across on top of those eyes, okay? That's if they're gonna do it at home, okay? If you can get them not to cut it at all, that'd be best. So. Basically, you have to adjust how you're going to groom this head. So I can't actually do this nice poodle head on her and have this, um, I guess you can say more of a, a, a bubble that we, we scissor in so that we give them the expression. She is not going to have that at all. But usually I find the ones that cut the hair like this could care less. Um, I've taken her down with a 5 before the bath and then a 7 um, with on her to just take her down short because she's got really nice hair and I hate to uh, I hate shaving it. She'd be happy if I shaved this entire dog with a 40 blade, but I will not do it. She's told me to do it and I've said no. Um, if I was doing a pattern, I'd do a 40 bit blade, but um, she doesn't want pattern. She wants nothing. She wants it all off. Um, so in saying that, I know it's going to look ridiculous. But, I don't know, has anybody ever tried to do a poodle top knot with a comb attachment? Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm, it's going to be one of these two. So, um, either half an inch or a three eighths, or for some of you that go with millimeters, a th 13 millimeter or a nine and a half. And so, I'm going to show you... Um, how to cheat on doing a top knot on a poodle. And you can obviously do the same exact trick with longer comb attachments, um, but obviously you'd be using like a, the purple, which is like three, three fourths or like a one inch. Um, so again, this is also another little trick to cheat on those poodle top knots as well. Um, but we're going to go extremely short on these. And what? Yes, I still use a clipper back, and as you see, I have a new clipper. Um, it's not really new. It's about a year old or so. Um, I like vacuum systems. It's a whole lot less of a mess. Whole lot less, um, I don't have, I don't get those hair splinters that everybody gets. <laughs> but my Andis with my handy clippers um, over the setup, 
died and my other ones are in the mail and they are coming to me as we speak but they're just not going to be here in time for this um, video so pros and cons real quick I like this um, setup the only downfall is is trying to get a hold of levers and spare parts um, pisses me off because lately they say that they changed them to a new one and really they've gone back to the old style and it's it's a long story but I can't get the levers over here so you're gonna hear this one really loud and rattly um, that's because I need a new lever and I know that but it was just to get me by until my other clippers got in um, my other ones with the handy that have the the metal piece slides up in here I like that because I have an option of one taking it off two um, I have I can adjust the height of it which tells me how much suction I need this one has the section here I can open it all the way up and not have as much coming out of here um, and I can take the the clipper back off of that one and use it like a normal pair of clippers as if I didn't have a clipper back system on it at all so it's a little bit more versatile um, the other um, con that I hate with that one the hose is coming out the top here which you get used to it I like the hose coming out the back um, some people say it's too big, too heavy, but I like it because it feels more like a pen or a pencil when I'm using it. But to get started, we're going to always go longer, and then if it doesn't work, we'll go shorter. So, um, so when, when doing it, again, you see me do my teddy bear faces like this. Now, on the ears, okay, you want the outside of this to ride just along that ear, okay? So you don't want to go too, too far down. That's, a lot of people have a tendency of doing that. As you can see, that still hasn't quite taken it all off. We could scissor that in, but here's where, here's something that I normally ever tell you never to do. Um, never take them and go backwards because it gives them a real like concave head it looks like they really kind of ran into something and that is what we're going to do to fix this okay we're going to take that little sharp point off yeah we can scissor it but some people don't have the ability to scissor very well um it's not a bad thing um but i just make my clippers do a lot of the work for me so, yes, we are going backwards. I tell you never to do this, but there always is exceptions. There's no right or wrong way of grooming a dog as long as it is um, safe. So, that, uh, that half, the, the orange comb did quite nice. So, we still have a little bit, um, which isn't too, too bad. So, now that we've got... This poodle head okay you can you can take a look at it now that doesn't look too too bad does does it for a short uh, for a short top knot it's just not going to necessarily um, have the poodle expression but on the people that cut the hair like this and let me just tell you what they're happy with whatever you can do because they just want it short I still like short and stylish so, now if you were doing this on a poodle that somebody did not um, scissor this top knot, I wouldn't go, don't go backwards. You just go straight off, um, straight off the head, just like all my other little teddy bear videos and things like that. Um, hold on, guys, just a second. Yay. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right. Now my clippers come in. See? <laughs> oh well. That's fine. So, but like I was saying, okay, you're just going to scissor this back. And if you can't get it totally perfect, you're going to have to, the clients are just going to have to understand. But that already looks better in the sense that it doesn't look like a big chunk's been taken out. Um, now, and then you just blend this back in. 
and you just clean up your lines a little bit and you can make it a little bit rounder because I find when you do it with a, t with a comb attachment it will tend some poodles have a real flat head and it can just give them a real flat head so you just have to dome it just a little bit on the sides and take that off um, but it limits your scissoring if you don't have the ability to scissor um, now here's a little trick we've got this is this is fine if you're going to let start letting these grow out um, and have long poodle poodle ears and everything like that but um, one thing that this one also likes is really short ears but I don't necessarily want to take them too short yet because usually I'll take a comb attachment to them as well but if you guys take this ear okay and you pull it down. See how I just pull that ear down a little bit? So I'm gonna pull it down, which is gonna distort that head and everything. But you take this and you just lightly scissor it so it blends up into that top knot. Okay, and you let that go. And you can see already that we can blend that poofiness out of that ear a whole lot more. So you see the difference? I scissored this side, but I didn't scissor that side. And again, I'll do it to this side. So I just pull it down and I hold it down. And see how it just, it makes it sit a little bit nicer. The ears aren't sitting way up here. They actually sit down right where they're supposed to be. So, and then I just go around when I do these kind of ears, put my fingers right at the tip of that ear leather and cut straight across. Okay, so I cut straight across that ear. As you guys can see, it just, so if you cut straight across, and I keep my fingers right there, and then you just slightly round off that edge. And I still keep my fingers right at the tip so I know exactly where they are. So I don't cut the, that tip off. And then we have a pretty nice little round ear. Okay. Like I said, I normally will shave these short with the comb attachment. But I don't want to do it this time. Because I have freedom to do whatever I want with this dog. Okay. So I'll take that little edge off. And then I round it over to that tip. Same thing here. We have a nice cute little ear and I think that's all it's going to have to be done to fix this because um, you know in a few weeks time she's going to chop all of that off again but if you have to also realize that when you have a dog that comes in and um, they have done this you can only do so much but this gets it to a really close point to where they're happy if they didn't cut so so short it probably would blend in pretty nice and just have a nice little dome going here um, but it would go backwards instead of going forwards but uh, like I said if, if you've got clients that are going to do this to their dog teach them to come it forward and just cut it straight across um, and literally take the dog that they've got right there before you even groom it just pull all that hair forward and show them exactly how to do it and then that way um, like I said, if they're going to cut it, they're going to cut it, but at least they don't cut it so that you can't work with it. Um, so I hope that helped. Um, and you guys can come back and watch this video later. Please, please, please invite your other groomer friends. Um, don't, uh, I want this, this group to be, I don't, like I said, I don't want to be the only one putting stuff out there. I would love 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 for other groomers to pipe in and say something if you have a different way of fixing the hair like this show us please please show us um i i mean i've been doing this for a long time but i i love to always learn something new i'm just at that stage where i want to start helping other people i want to help people um do better because i am all about quality on the groom rather than quantity i hated trying to be pushed to get the things done 
um, as quick as possible. But, and sometimes we are, there, there are no exceptions. But I would really like for other groomers to pipe in and say something as in, maybe they have a different way of doing it because, you know, there's more than one way to groom a dog. Um, there's more than one way to, um, to do something. And I wanna know every different way that there is because I might come across a situation where, shit, none of my stuff's working. And somebody comes up and shows me something. So, um, I, I really, really would love to um, have some other people jump in here and do some videos. Pictures, you don't have to do pictures. You can type if you want. I like videos because I can learn from them a little bit faster. Um, so... Uh, thanks to the tip on the good ear. Yes, um, that's cutting those ears. That's a big thing. You always want to hold that tip so you know right where it is. Um, so thank you, Leanne. And I'm going to let you guys go because I got to finish her. And I got that one in the tub I still have to do. So I'm running, like I said, really late. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks.